Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing about AWS DynamoDB. DynamoDB is a fastest and flexible NoSQL database that has been designed for applications that requires consistent latency at any scale. It is a fully managed database by AWS, by Amazon, and it is flexible data model with no database schema that is required in upfront means we do not to worry about the schema of the database while creating the table and all. So that is flexible. We can change it, we can modify it at any time. DynamoDB, it's mostly used in gaming and many other application, even IoT, Internet of, App, Internet of Things and all. So it's widely used where we need the data, consistent uh, data at very low latency. In case of Dyno, DynamoDB tables, we have the items that are also that we can term it as rows and attributes that we can call it as uh, columns and the key values are there and the formats that we can insert the data and download the data, export the data in the form of JSON, HTML and XML. So in today's video, uh, I'll be showing you all the keys and all those things. But before that, we need to understand about the different types of keys that DynamoDB have. So DynamoDB stores and retrieves data based upon the primary key. It, the primary key is also known as a partition key. It is being supported by a sort key to determine the physical location where the data is being stored. So when we are combining the partition key and the sort key, it becomes a composite key. So in DynamoDB, we can have two items can have the same partition key, but their sort key will be different. And DynamoDB also helps us to store multiple items with the same partition key. But as I said earlier, it should have a different sort key value. So here a little bit things uh, are quite uh, confusing so once we see the practical that time we will be able to understand the difference between the partition key and the sort key and how it let us to create the composite key so in today's video i will be showing a small practical with creating a table dynamodb table and inserting some records into it and also search by using the query and the scan so let's move on to the so this is my console and I have already logged into my console over here so I'll go to the services or you can just type it over here dynamo db so you can see manage no SQL database Once you click here, you can see over here, we can create tables, add and add query items and monitor and manage the tables. So it is fast and flexible, no SQL database. So we will create the table first. Now you can see over here, we can put the table name. Let's say I'm putting over here product details. So you can see the primary key, it is equal to the partition key and there is an option to add over here sort key. So once you provide both of them, it becomes a composite key. So I'll just provide over here one partition key. Let's say product ID that can uniquely identify all the other attributes of the table. That is a product ID. Now here, one more interesting thing. There are data types over here. We have only three choices, string, binary, and number. Then I can check on this option so I can add the sort key. Let's say I want to um, sort the products by its name. So combining with this product ID and product name, it becomes composite key. So we can have, as I said in my, uh, previous video previously so you can see over here uh, whatever we can have the product ID but we need to define multiple uh, different sort keys for the same table now here the table settings are here so use the default settings so in this video I will not be 
showing you about the indexes and all that i will show you about the indexes type of indexes and all in the next stage next video so if you uncheck this option you can see lots of other options are coming what are the secondary indexes read write capacity mode and all these things we will discuss in the next video so for the time being we can just check on this option over here use default settings and click create so you can see our table has been created over here product details and these are the items that we can check what are the items we have what are the metrics alarms if you want to add it capacity indexes these things we will discuss slowly slowly in the upcoming videos but for today we can see the items now here you can see product id and product name is coming over here so i can just click on the create item so i can provide over here certain value let's say one and the product name is let's say iphone or let's say some mobile and we can click save okay now we can add another item over here you can see product id 2 let's say if i want to add headphones now here i want to add another one i want to add another attribute that is a string attribute with the name price and we can define it over here the price let's say 25.00 and then click save so you can see over here this column this attribute has been added so that's what it is uh, we need not to worry about the schema upfront so we can modify it whenever we want now if you see over here uh, these are the sorted items that we have we based upon the product id then we have the product name then we have the price now if you see over here by default we have the scan option over here that will scan throughout the table depending upon this table product details that we have product id and product name so once i click search over here we can add over here a filter if we want so we can also query based upon certain partition key but that thing is not possible in case of scan scan will scan whole table but here in case of query we get the option whether we want to provide the partition key over here if i put the partition key 2 over here and we can also define the sort key if you want let's say or we can just click on the search over here you can see we get depending upon the partition key so there can be multiple items with the same partition key but the sort key will be a different one so that means the product name will be different so let's try to add one more item over here let's say the product id is two and let's say i'm adding over here one more item let's say over here some earbuds so you can see over here the product id remains the same that is our partition key but our product name that is our sort key is different now if i go back to my all items over here let me remove this uh, query let me go to the scan over here so you can see i'm getting over here all the values now if i try to put another item with the same value let's say product id one and mobile let's say so if i try to save it over here it gives me an error over here so as i said to you earlier like we can have the same partition key but the sort key need to be different so mobile is already there because we have set up product name as a sort key so we can have multiple partition keys but different sort keys i hope you understood the term between difference between the partition key and the sort key now again if i go to the query over here you can see over here we can just 
put the product name whatever we want mobile or and you can search over here we need to enter the value also over here for the so the partition key is the one we need to provide over here now if i put it over here two and if i leave this one blank also no need to worry about it so we can have this now if you specify over here headphones it will show you that particular record only so that's the whole difference between the partition key and the sort key this is very very important concept because based upon this we will be working on the indexes in the next video once you you have done with the items we can click back on this products and this items over here or we go back to the scan and to start showing you all the items over here you can arrange it by clicking on this arrange it by this so just like a uh, sorting option is there now here you can see we are not getting anything else index and all that we will discuss in the next video so here also we are just getting the uh, partition key and the sort key so always remember uh, scan will work throughout the table query we can specify based upon the partition key sort key we can sort the things in ascending and descending order and attributes all or projected whatever we want we can use it over here in order to delete the table you can just click over here delete the table and you can see over here the option export to csv we have so comma separated values we can export also this then in the later stages we will see how to import also to the um, to the dynamo db in the later stages because for that we need to have s3 bucket we'll keep our csv file in the s3 bucket then we can we can configure a lambda so whenever we upload into the s3 bucket any csv file automatically the lambda will be triggered and then it will process it and it will show the data over here in the DynamoDB table. I hope you understood the concept of this, how to create a table and the concept of most important concept of the partition key and the sort key. In the next video, we'll be discussing about the indexes. What are the type of indexes? What's the use of indexes and all. I hope you like my video. Please do like, subscribe to my channel and keep on watching my previous videos also. Thank you very much.